So today I'm going to read family medicine. So the first topic is basically College of the Prime Family Physicians of Canada. The family physician is a skilled physician, works with a patient to understand their illness, uh, experience and collaborate on shared management plans, use expert general, generalist knowledge to develop a comprehensive approach to management of undifferentiated disease, multimorbidity and chronic disease. Family medicine is a community-based discipline, responds to the changing needs and circumstances of the community with emphasis on the injury, disease prevention and health promotion. Sees patient across their lifespan with a variety of the disease, with a clinical context, collaborative with a network of multidisciplinary community <clears throat> healthcare providers. The family physician is a resource of uh, resource to a de defined practice population, encourage, engages in the self-directed lifelong in learning to ensure relevance of uh, practice in the maintaining patient health advocates for the public policy to promote health resource stewardship and care continuity and coordination the patient physician relationship is central to the role of the family physician commit to the whole person not the to the disease in the context of the patient's family and wider social environment promotes continuity of the patient care respecting patient privacy and the physician patient relationship expert in journalism journalism is a professional policy of the care distinguished by a Commitment to holistic, integrated, person-centered care, the broadest scope of the practice and collaborative with the large health care team in order to uh, respond to the patient and community health needs. Family physicians are the queen, queen, queen essential uh, um, experts in the journalism with emphasis on the family, family-centered care, community adaptiveness, undifferentiated problems, management of uncertainty, in uh, prevention and health promotion, multimorbidity and longitudinal aspect of health and illness. Then comes the purpose of the periodic health management. Primary prevention and secondary prevention. Primary prevention is basically uh, identify risk factors of the common disease, counsel patients on the health promoting practices. Secondary comes with the early detection of the disease to, prom to allow prompt uh, treatment to uh, prevent disease pre progression like screening programs. Then comes the sidebar, adult periodic health exam, male and female evidence-based preventive care checklist forms are basically on CPC, CFPC. Then comes the folic acid supplementation in the pregnancy on the sidebar to prevent the neural tube defect in all women capable of becoming pregnant, low risk uh, women, diet of folate rich food and a daily oral multivitamin supplement containing 0 0.4 to 1 mg folic acid for at least two to three months before conception throughout pregnancy and four to six postpartum of as long as breastfeeding continues high risk uh, women including epilepsy insulin dependent diabetes bmi more than 35 family history of neurotube defect high risk ethnic group diet of folate rich foods and daily supplementation with the multivitamins with 5 mg folic acid at least 3 months prior to the conception within 12 months uh, post conception uh, from week 12 post conception until postpartum period 4 to 6 week uh, or as long as breastfeeding continues 0 0.4 to 1 mg of the folic acid supplementation is sufficient women with the additional lifestyle issues uh, higher folic acid like high lifestyle issues are basically poor compliance with the uh, Medication no consistent with the birth control, taking possible teratogenic substances, high folic acid dose of 5 mg, and counseling about prevention of the birth defects. Then comes the classification of the recommended grade, strong and conditional. Strength of the recommendation strong is basically confidence that desirable uh, effect outweighs the undesirable effects, or the undesirable outweighs the desirable effect. Implies that the most individual will be best served by the Recommended course of action. Conditional is desirable effect probably outweighs the undesirable effect or undesirable probably outweighs the desirable effect. Implies that the most patient would want the recommended uh, course of action but may but many would not and uh, different choices will be uh, appropriate for different individuals. Patient requires support in uh, reaching a management decision. 
consistent with his or her value and preferences quality of evidence is basically high moderate and low high is high level of confidence that the true effect lies close to the estimate of the effect moderate is basically true effect lies to close to the estimate of the effect that there is a possibility that it is substantially different low or very low true effect may substantially different from estimate of the effect then comes the discussion of periodic health exam basically general population dental hygiene noise pollution noise control hearing protection um, skin for poverty counsel on smoking cessation and provide nicotine replacement refer to the smoking cessation program dietary advice on the leafy green vegetables and fruits seat belt use moderate physical activity avoid sunburn and wear protective clothing problem uh, drinking screen and counseling counseling to protect uh, against stis nutritional counseling diet advice on fat and cholesterol diet advice on calcium vitamin d requirements then comes the physical blood pressure requirement in using technique is described on chgp guidelines measure hey height to weight and calculated bmi of for individuals more than 18 then comes the special population which is basically pediatric adolescents perimenopausal and adult more than 65 hey, 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 so pediatric is basically home visits for the high risk families including prevention poison control smoke detectors non flammable sleep tests hot water thermostat settings and quality into the developmental milestone adolescent is basically counsel on the sexual activity contraceptive methods and counsel to prevent smoking initiation and substance use perimenopausal women is basically more than 50 assess for um, risk factors for the osteoporosis and uh, fractures counsel on osteoporosis counsel on the vis- risk and benefits for uh, hormonal replacement therapy adult more than 65 follow up on caregiver concern of cognitive impairment multidisciplinary post fall assessment pediatric pediatric repeated uh, examination of the of hips eyes and hearing Uh, especially in the first year of the life serial height weight and high head circumference visual acuity up to testing at after age 2 adults more than 65 should be tested before hearing uh, re- impairment inquiry whispered voice test and audio scope so first degree relative with the melanoma full body exam skin exam then comes the periodic health exam for the test and therapy general population general population is basically see recommendation below for the age and the gender specific screening for the diabetes uh dyslipidemia hypertension and cancer colon prostate cervical lung and breast one time screening ultrasound for the abdominal aortic aneurysm in the age <clears throat> 65 to 80 years <clears throat> therapy is basically folic acid supplementation for women of child uh child bearing age pharmacological uh, treatment of hypertension varicella zoster vaccine for children age 1 to 12 and susceptible adolescents and adults rubella vaccine for all non pregnant women for child bearing and age unless there is a proof of immunity via immunization records or serology tetanus vaccine uh, basically routine booster every 10 year if had first series pertussis vaccine like adults less than 65 should receive one booster given as tdap adacel or boostrix uh herpes zoster vaccine for the adults more than 60 50 years then come the special population and those the test uh, for the pediatrics is routine hemoglobin for high risk infants blood blood screening for the high risk infant tb montox skin testing and then sti high risk groups voluntary hiv antibody screening gonorrhea screening chlamydia screening in the women syphilis screening syphilis screening is basically done by vdrl test in uh, pediatrics we prescribe for the routine immunization and when influenza high risk group outreach strategies for uh, vaccination and will uh, immunization now recommended for all hpv high risk groups vaccination for the male and females from the age 9 with no upper age limit it if ongoing risk TB high risk groups isoniazid prophylaxis for household contacts or the skin test converters isoniazid prophylaxis for high risk subgroup B 
इम्यूनोकॉम्प्रोमाइज एज मोर देन सिक्सटी फाइव सी ओ पी डी एजमा सी एच एफ एसप्लिनिया लीवर डिजीज एंड द रीनल फेलियर डायबिटीज मलाइटिस वी प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर द न्यूमोकोगल वैक्सीन फॉर द ऑल मोर देन सिक्सटी फाइव हाई रिस्क एट प्रीवनार इफ मोर देन सिक्सटी फाइव एंड द रिस्क फैक्टर्स सो दैट्स अबाउट इट देन आई विल बी रीडिंग मोर 